Hello friends and assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel i be all learning developer like in the previous videos we have covered up many of the things using java and android development series and i hope you enjoy their all projects like in the previous android development tutorial series i'm telling you about like what is android life cycle and i hope you understand that because in that i was just explaining you and in the previous video we have also covered up like how to build our first mobile app and how to build using things like that so today we are building an amazing project and today i will be telling you that how you can build an amazing tic tac toe game this will be our first project on uh, android development series and we are building this amazing tic tac toe game using java because you all know that in android development we use java or kotlin so with that we are using java and i hope you'll be understanding this tic tac toe game which we are building here through android development series so if you enjoy this amazing video of tic tac toe game so remember to hit a like to this video and if you are new on this channel hit the subscribe button and after subscribing hit notification bell as well so you can just see my all the coming up videos because that will be giving you help also and i hope you'll be understanding that all things so just now we'll be starting with our video and basically we'll be seeing that how we are building this amazing tic tac toe game project using android development series from a start so just like I've telling you that we will be just building an amazing project here and today I will be telling you that how we can build an amazing tic-tac-toe game using Android Studio development. So now we'll be starting with our project. So for building this tic-tac-toe game, I will be not using this text editor VS Code or my Android development studio because when we are building projects, so I am using another text editor. I am showing you that what text editor I'm using to build these amazing projects here. So my text editor, which I will be using today in this video will be Rappelit. You can just search here. Uh, rappel it here and in rappel it you can just use many of the things here because it is really good text editor where you can use different languages like if you want to use python html css java and you can also use kotlin there and many different languages uh, you can use you can see here there it is written run code live in your browser and write and run code in 50 plus language means you can use 50 plus language in this Rappelit text editor. So this is a really good thing here and I think you should also use this Rappelit text editor here. So I will be moving on to this file here which is my uh, which I have already created. So first of all you have to sign in in this account and after signing in this account you have to just work with this project here. So this is my file which I have already created now and here I will be generating my codes and one thing is good about that when you will be generating any code here you will be getting all the running means you will be getting all the things of console here in this console tab. So I will be making this console at the top and you can just also make this console bigger like if I run anything you can see it is running but it is not giving me any answer because I have not written anything here with so here now I have just created one file here you can see with the name of main.py you can also create I have created many of the files you can create many of the files but before that you have to log in it with your in your account here you can log in with the help of uh, you can say with the help of your google account or if you're not having any account so you can sign up then you can log in in that so here now we'll be starting our codes here and we'll be building our tic-tac-toe game so for building this amazing tic-tac-toe game first of all I will be defining here tic-tac-toe so I will be writing here tic underscore that so i will be writing here after writing this here i will be making open close bracket then i will be making this colon and moving down here you have to create both tag and in this both tag i will be making this uh, square bracket in which i will be writing one two three four five six seven eight and then nine so you can see we have just written this thing then you have to write and is equals to false like this but f should be in capital when we are using java so here when you have written this you have to write directly win combinations so i will be writing underscore win combinations like this is equals to then i will be now writing here uh, like this here you have to write 0 comma 1 2 like this i will be writing then you have to now just do one thing here like i will be making comma here then you have to write another bracket here and then write here 3 4 5 then i will be just now making this so you don't have to worry about this it is moving in the next line it does when we are writing so much code here so i will be writing six seven eight then write again zero three six and here you have to write the combinations of win which i am writing one four seven and then you have to write here two five eight so here you have to write two five eight then again write comma here give a space make bracket then write here zero four eight then make comma make bracket again then write here two four six so you can see we have written this thing then you have to write here dev draw and you have to create this tag then you have to move down after this create print and now in print i will be writing board zero so it should be printing board zero 
then it should be printing board 1 and with this we should also be printing board 2 now it is printing here so i will be again writing print and board 3 should also be printed and here i will be writing board 4 then write here board 5 like this now when you've written this write here print and then you have to write here board and you have to write here 3 comma or sorry if you have written 3 so i will be writing board 6 here i will be writing board 7 and then write here board 8 now when you've written this you have to write print tag and then you have to close this so you can see we have closed these all stuff here after closing these things here i will be now doing one thing i will be now uh, writing here a tag because we have just written all these things which we want to write here so here you have to write def p1 then make this tag and then move down after moving down you have to write and choose number so i will be now writing here choose number like this and in this i will be writing if board so i will be moving down and i will be writing here if board and then you have to write here x like this right here or board and then you have to write here and right here o like this then you have to make this tag and here i will be writing print and then you have to write backslash n so here i will be now writing this here you have to now just do one thing like this and write here backslash n here you can write any of your text which you want to write here so i'll be writing you can't go there try again because when the user already written uh, anything in that column of the tic-tac-toe game so he cannot write any other alphabet there so because of that i've written this thing then you have to write here p1 tag then close it with the help of this tag right here else and in else i will be writing board and then you have to write here is equals to x in the capital then you have to now just write here def p2 make this same thing here open close bracket and now here you have to write again same thing right here choose number then create this tag and then write here if board and then you have to write here n then you have to write here is equals to x value right here or board then you have to write n then right here is equals to o then you have to now write here print and now you have to print the value of like backslash n and you have to write again the same thing like you can't go there so here i will be writing then right here try again so here you have to write same thing now when you've written this here you have to write p2 then open close this same tag here and then again you have to write else tag right here board n and then you have to write here is equals to x now here you have to write o because obviously we have written the x at the top now when you've written this here you have to just move down and you have to write here def choose number then here i will be now making this tag right here while true so here i will be writing then right here while true make this tag here and then you have to write here a input and then you have to now just uh, do one thing you have to write here try a is equals to init then write here a then you have to write here a dash is equals to one if a in range so here i will be now writing if a in range then you have to now just do one thing here like i will be writing zero and nine so write zero comma nine here then here you have to just make this tag right here return a now you have to write else value in else value i will be printing this uh, backslash n and here i will be writing that's not on the board like this then here i will be writing try again now when you've written this here you have to just move down and write here continue like this and then you have to just now move here and write here accept and write here value error so here i will be making this then you have to write here print make this tag backslash n right here that's then i will be writing not a number again then i will be now writing here try again now when you've written this here you have to make this tag right here continue then i will be now writing here def check board so here i will be making this then you have to make this tag and then move down right here count tag zero then you write here for a in win combination so here i will be now writing like this then you have to write this tag and here i will be moving at the top so you can see we have just written this win combination here as well so we can define it down now when you've written this here you have to write if board then here you have to write a tag zero then here you have to now just do like is equals to here right here board a1 like this then here i will be writing board again then right here a and here you have to now just write a2 like this thing now here you have to write is equals to x 
Now when you've written this here, you have to write win and write here player one wins like this. Then when you've written this thing right here, this backslash uh, like this thing. Then when you've written this right here, print and in print I will be now writing here congratulations. So here I will be now writing here congratulations like this. Now here you have to write backslash n. Now when you've written this, you have to write here return true. So here I will be writing this. Now you have to just uh, move down and write here if board and then you have to now just write a 0 and here you have to just now write is equals to board a like this we have written and here you have to now write 1. Now when you've just written this thing here I will be moving. So here you can see this we have just created this so I will be closing this tag here and removing one from here. Now when you've written this you have to write is equals to and write here board a and then you have to now just write here 2 now when you've written this you have to write here is equals to x now you have to just write print and here i will be writing player 1 so here i will be now writing here player 2 like this because player 1 we have already written so i will be now writing here player 2 wins and then you have to write here backslash n write here print value in which I will be writing congratulations. So here I will be now writing this thing like this. Then you have to now just make this tag right backslash n. Now when you've written this here, you can see we have just written this value here of x by mistake. So I will be now writing the value of o here, and we have just written board one two like this. Now when we've written this here, I will be now just returning the value. So I will be now writing here return true like this thing. So when you've written this value here, you have to just now do one thing here I will be now moving down return true like value we have written okay so now you can see we have just uh, written this thing here if I show you so here I am just zooming out so I can just show you that in one line we have written like this so when you've written these all things here I will be basically doing one thing we have just uh, written this thing as well here and then we have printed this and after printing this thing, you have to just do one thing. You have to make the tab. You have to press tab here to making forward. You can see now I've made this thing forward here like this. After making it forward, you have to now just do one thing. Here I will be writing for A in range. Then I will be now writing here 9. Here you have to just move down. And here I will be writing if board A tag. So here I will be now writing this. Right is equals to X. And here I will be writing on board. Then I will be writing here a is equals to o. Now you have to just write here count plus is equals to 1. And write here if count, then I will be now writing is equals to 9. Here I will be now writing print. And in print I will be writing the game ends. And here I will be writing in a tie like this. Backslash n. Write here return to like this. Now when you have written this here, I will be now writing while not end. Then when you've written this, right here draw and here right is equals to check board like this. Then make this bracket here if and is equals to true like this. So here I will be writing. Then right here break. After writing this break tag, here I will be writing print and right here player one like this. Right choose where to place a cross like this. I will be writing like this. Now when you've written this, you have to write here P1. Make this bracket here and after writing this bracket here you have to now just do one thing you have to move down right here print and then you have to just move down here as well right here draw. After creating this draw tag you have to write here and is equals to check underscore board then you have to make this here I will be writing if and is equals to true. Then write here break tag and then after creating this break tag you have to write print and write here player 2 like this. After creating player 2, right here, choose where the where to place a knot like this. Now, when you've written this thing, just here you have to now pick, write v2 and then you have to make this bracket here. Again, you have to print this value and here I will be now just writing here input and in input you have to write here play again like this. Then you have to now write here y slash n. Then you have to close it. And here you have to write this backslash n is equals to yes. Then you have to just do one thing. You have to move down. Print this tag. Right here tic-tac-toe. So here I will be now writing tic-tac-toe. Make this bracket. 
then you have to now write here again the tag which will be a tag to like this then make this bracket here so after making this thing you have to just save this so here i will be saving these all stuff you can see we have just uh, written these all things here and now if i run this so after running your uh, when your one run when you when it will be running here so here you can just start the thing when you can work with this so you can see we are just getting that all stuff here and here we are just getting the game ties and we are also getting these all stuff here like this we have just defined so you can see this these all things are moving here and like this you can just create your tic-tac-toe game and when you will be running your tic-tac-toe game so it will be started running and then you will be seeing that we are getting this so if i move at the top you can see these are the wing combination which we are getting here and after getting these all combinations here we are now getting all these things you can see stage one and then these are the stuff which we are getting just you have to save okay Control z so we are getting all these values here then you have to directly save it and after saving just you can run and when you will be running so your command will be running here and you can start your uh, course running so like this we can just build this amazing tic tac toe game i hope you understand this all things here which we have just built through this video and i hope you understand this project which we have just built here so if you have understand this amazing tic tac toe game which we have built so remember to hit a like to this video and if you're new on this channel hit the subscribe button after subscribing hit notification bell as well so more people can learn and they can understand how they can build these tic tac toe games using many different languages like we have built this using android development studio so just i'll be meeting next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials for today good bye